Unusual facts about everyday items. Hello, and thank you for stopping by our channel, Weird World Facts, where we bring you the most interesting, weird, and awe inspiring information from around the world. Have you ever stopped to think about the everyday items you use in your life? Well, in this video, we're going to explore some unusual facts about everyday items that you might not know. So, buckle up and get ready to learn something new. The world's most luxurious stapler An indispensable tool found in offices, schools, and homes around the world. But did you know that the first stapler was fit for a king? That's right, King Louis X V of France was the lucky recipient of the world's first stapler way back in the 18th century. But this wasn't just any stapler. Oh no, it was a true work of art, handmade from solid gold and encrusted with glittering diamonds. The king could have used it to staple together important documents but it's likely that he admired its exquisite beauty more than its practical function. Of course, today's staplers are a little less flashy, but they're no less useful. In fact, the stapler has become such a ubiquitous tool that it's hard to imagine life without it. From stapling papers together to creating makeshift decorations, the humble stapler has proven its worth time and time again. Toothbrush the simple yet crucial task of brushing teeth. It's something we all do, or at least we should, every day, but did you know that most people aren't doing it for long enough? In fact, studies show that the average person only brushes their teeth for a measly 45 to 70 seconds a day. That's less than half the recommended time. So, what's the big deal, you may ask? Well, the longer you brush your teeth, the more plaque and bacteria you remove, which means a cleaner and healthier mouth. But if you're only brushing for a minute or so, you're not giving your teeth and gums the attention they need. No wonder dentists are always reminding us to brush longer. So next time you're brushing your teeth, try setting a timer for two minutes and see how it feels. It may seem like a long time at first, but once you get into the habit, you'll notice a difference in the health of your mouth. The humble fork. It's hard to imagine enjoying a meal without it, right? But did you know that once upon a time, Forks were considered a luxury item in Europe, reserved only for the wealthy elite. That's right, back in the Middle Ages, when most people ate with their hands or a simple knife, forks were seen as an unnecessary extravagance. In fact, some people even considered them to be sacrilegious, believing that using a fork to eat went against the natural order of things. But why were forks so controversial? Well, one theory is that the church played a role in discouraging their use. After all, if everyone started using forks, they wouldn't need to eat with their hands anymore, and that might have led to a decline in the act of communion, where the faithful ate the bread and drank the wine during Mass. It wasn't until the 17th century that forks really started to become more common. By then, forks had developed more prongs and were made of cheaper materials, making them accessible to a wider range of people. The Surprising Science Behind Your Pencil you might think you know everything there is to know about this simple writing instrument, but there's actually a fascinating fact that many people don't realize. The lead in a pencil isn't actually lead at all. That's right, despite the name, the material that makes up the core of a pencil is not the toxic metal that bears the same name. Instead, pencils are filled with a mixture of graphite and clay. But why use graphite and clay, you might ask? Well, it all comes down to strength and precision. Pure graphite is actually too soft and brittle to use on its own as a writing tool. When combined with clay, however, it becomes much stronger and more durable, allowing it to hold its shape and produce consistent lines. But why are pencils shaped the way they are? You might think that a pointed tip would be the most efficient shape for a writing tool, but the reality is that the graphite and clay mixture is simply too fragile to withstand the pressure of a sharp point. Instead, the flat edge of a pencil serves a dual purpose. It helps to keep the graphite and clay mixture intact, while also allowing for a broader range of line widths. By angling the pencil, you can create a thin, precise line or a broad, bold stroke. So the next time you pick up a pencil, take a moment to appreciate the fascinating science and engineering that went into creating this everyday object. The first cell phone call. The year was 1973 and the world was about to experience a technological breakthrough that would change the way we communicate forever. On April 3rd of that year, a man by the name of Martin Cooper, who was an executive at Motorola, made the very first cell phone call. 
It was a momentous occasion, and little did anyone know that this phone call would pave the way for the multi-billion dollar industry we know today. But what many people don't know is that the first cell phone call was not the smooth sailing success we would expect from a milestone moment. In fact, the call lasted for a mere 20 minutes and was made on a phone that weighed a staggering 2.4 pounds. Imagine carrying that around in your pocket all day. The monster machine, the vacuum cleaner, a household essential that we often take for granted. But did you know that the first vacuum cleaner was so large that it had to be pulled by horses? Yes, you heard that right. In 1901, a British engineer named Hubert Booth invented the world's first vacuum cleaner and was a beast. Unlike the compact and portable vacuums we use today, Booth's invention was a massive machine that had to be transported by horses and used to clean the floors of large buildings like hotels. But why did Booth feel the need to create such a gigantic contraption? Well, it all started when he attended a demonstration of American inventor John Thurman's motorized carpet cleaner in 1900. Thurman's device used a gasoline-powered motor to suck up dirt and dust, but it was far from perfect. The machine was so heavy and unwieldy that it had to be parked outside the building being cleaned, and then long hoses had to be run through windows to reach the carpet. Booth was convinced he could do better, and set to work creating a new kind of suction machine. He invented a giant petrol-driven pump that could suck dust and dirt through long hoses and into a large container. It was a revolutionary design, but there was one problem. The machine was so big and heavy that it couldn't be used inside buildings. Booth wasn't deterred, though. He figured that if he couldn't bring the machine to the dirt, he'd bring the dirt to the machine. And so he created the first vacuum cleaner on wheels, which had to be pulled by horses and was used to clean the carpets and floors of large public buildings. Over time, Booth's invention evolved into the modern vacuum cleaner we know today. So those were some more unusual facts about everyday items that you might not have known. Did any of this surprise you? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.